hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> I think the stig's gonna be ringing me in a minute. It's gonna be gloating, isn't it? It's just, the stig's gonna be. Told you about Tyson, didn't I? Fury power! Fury power! So I'll be ringing in a second. Well, it's all good, isn't it? But, uh. It's, uh. It's all good stuff, isn't it? So, hello, all you hardcores out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, and still, and still, and still. My arse there, him, he always, every time he sees me, him there tries to chase me. His little pea shooter. Driving around in a little pea shooter Corsa. Got no chance. <laughs> So, the stig's going to be ringing in a minute, and he's going to be going on about Tyson Fury's win. Now, he gets a lot of stig, the stig, but he called it correct, so we have to give him his moment, don't we? We have to give Philip, the cabbie, his moment. Uh, I don't like it any more than you will, but we've got to, we've got to have fair play, haven't we? So... Is that the Stigmeister? It certainly is, sir, yes. How are you yeah. doing, Philip? Yeah, I'm doing very well, yeah. Good man. Just sitting, just sitting in uh, my penthouse flat at Stig Mansions. Stig Mansions? <laughs> He's still yeah. living next door to Jimmy White, Stig? No, he moved. He moved late summer. Is, it, is he with that chick still? Uh, well, as far as I can change, yeah. yeah right. Yeah, You're not going to his house while we're in stick. You're not what, sorry? You're not going to his house warming. No, I wasn't invited. <laughs> well, at least you're honest, Stig. He, he said, uh, really, he didn't want the, uh, all of his other guests to feel inadequate, so he had to leave me out. <laughs> right, right, right. So what did you think tip fight at weekend, Stig? I've, 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 run, I've got you on channel because I'm going to let you have your moment because you've been you were singing Tyson Fury's fate for praises for a few years and everybody said you were bonkers, didn't they? Including me. Four so, years, yeah. So, and I, so I'm going to give you your moment. Uh, just Tyson, obviously now that he's dusted Wilder. And just broke him down, didn't he? Bullied him, didn't he? Does he now beat Joshua? Well, he always would have beat Joshua. I mean, he, he would have, he would beat Joshua uh, fighting on the back foot, wouldn't he? But he can clearly probably beat Joshua. We well, can beat Joshua on the front foot. <laughs> now what? Like, yes. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with that. Now, what do you think to Eddie Hearn? Not he's. He's got this fight lined up for Pulev, but it's because Pulev's a Bob Arum fighter. There won't be a rematch clause in it, so he doesn't have a safety net if Pulev wins. Because if Pulev wins, he's just going to go back to Bob Arum with four belts and fight Joshua, isn't he? Well, I suppose so, yeah. So Eddie Hearn is now in a vulnerable position. It looks to me like he's begging begging for the Joshua fight and they've got Eddie Hearn and Frank Smith uh, they're, they're now rubbishing anything that anybody said they're just drowning everybody out aren't they basically well, what, what do you, they're trying to, drowning everybody out in interviews any, anything you know people keep talking about splits and they they keep pushing their case don't they for the fact that they've got four belts and all that kind of rubbish. Do you know what I mean? It is rubbish, mate, and it's always been rubbish. But the evening Tyson beat Vlad. Yeah, go on. Um, 
if he didn't have the decency of race to congratulate Tyson. He only wanted to talk about AJ. Well, they have to jump on everybody's bandwagon, don't they? What you've got to understand is, right, Joshua is not schooled in the sweet science, is he? No, no, he's not. Not, but well, I think to be fair, he did put up a very. It wasn't. It was a good performance in his last fight. He did stick the game man. I don't think. I don't think it. Well, he did what he had to do, but he stunk the place out, mate. He stunk. He is the new Parker. He is the new stinkinator. <laughs> he stunk the place out, mate. He's the new kid Galahad, as far as I'm concerned. Or, or you, uh, Vladimir Klitschko. But, you know, Tyson can, he's got he's clearly unbeatable facing that style with someone who's better at it than Jay. Right. But Tyson can also come and get you and put it on you. He did that to Steve Cunningham when Steve Cunningham was out, Cunningham was out for him. He can do it, he's always been able to do it. Tyson can do whatever he wants, he's that healthy. Yeah, he's like a fighter jet, isn't he? He comes in, does his work and goes back out, doesn't he? Well, no, he hasn't always done that, but he could have always chosen to do that since the Derek Gazora second fight. That's yeah. when he really came of age. That's yeah. when he came of age. Yeah. You know, you, you can discount everything before that. He was just developing and growing. But Chisora 2, Tyson Fury right. But then emotionally, he was right. It all fell apart because he, he, he couldn't cope with the negativity of other people after he beat Vlad. He eventually realised life's about making the most of what you are and not being focused on what other people think. Keep doing what's right for you. And eventually, if you are talented, people will appreciate it. And he's now come out, and he's just... I, there's no one who isn't very, very impressed with what he's done. Not if they're being real. Yeah. I know what you mean, like, but... Uh, it's... Uh, they're all saying Wilder were baddest man on planet, and now Tyson's just done that to him, so he must be baddest man on planet now, then. He is, but by nature, I don't think Tyson is a bad man, is he? He's a bit of a soft man, frankly. <laughs> I don't think... Uh, I'm not going to comment on anything outside of boxing with Tyson. We'll comment on the boxing, right? The boxing is, he's got to be number one now, right? We all agree on that. Absolutely. And uh, as regards Joshua, I don't think he really needs to fight Joshua now. There's no to prove. He got to Vladimir before Joshua, and he's got to Wilder before any of them. Joshua didn't want to go near Wilder. No, or Luis Ortiz. There's only Dave Allen from England fought Luis Ortiz. Nobody else has gone near him. There's only, there's only Tyson that's fought Wilder, isn't there, and Audley Harrison. Audley Harrison got destroyed inside of half a minute, didn't he? <laughs> I actually think, I mean, you know, well, how's AJ going to fight uh, uh, Wilder? That's a good point, mate. Eh? Hey? AJ Wilder is still a great fight. I reckon. Yeah. 
Yeah, but who's going to want to see AJ Wilder? It's just sloppy seconds, isn't it, if he beats Wilder? Because we know that Tyson can destroy him, destroy Wilder. Made him look completely incompetent. He, a one trick pony. But that one trick that he's got is very effective. I don't think AJ would, would, would shrug off um, too light hairs like that. I don't agree with all these people going out and rubbishing Wilder because at the end of the day, he beat, he got three wins over world champions. Tyson's still only got three now. It is a poor era, but he's best of the era. I don't think he even needs to beat Joshua to fight Joshua to be honest, but they will because there's just too much money on the table. That's all. Yeah, nothing on the table, yeah, good business. And the herds will string it out, going on about four belts, and all the fans that ODA got forever and ever until it eventually happens. But it will happen. But yeah. the herds just want to make money because that's what the herds want to do, and good luck to them. But, but, I've always resented the degradation towards Tyson achievement against Slab away in Dusseldorf, which they have propagated. That's, I mean, I don't, it's nothing personal, they're good business. Good luck to them. They're very good business. But that was always a problem as far as I was concerned. Yeah. Nothing against them, really. They yeah. are great promoters. They are. They're very good promoters. Yeah, they have themselves. Well, they've got the platform, haven't they? They've got Sky, they've got the Zone, and they've got IFL and behind their gloves and boxing social hanging out of the back of them, doing everything yeah. they say. Now, you're going to see this media machine that Eddie Hearn's got behind him now, you're going to see it more than ever now because this is the holy, holy grail for him now. Fury Joshua is the holy grail for them. Now, Frank Warren's going to do his best to try and have the upper hand because they have got the upper hand now. But you're going to hear Eddie Hearn whining about having, you know, three or four belts. And Tyson's got the ring belt and he's got the WBC, the main belts, hasn't he? Yeah. I don't count the ring belt, but he's got it, hasn't he? So you've got to give him credit. I said two years ago that Tyson's going to be massive in. in um America and he is now. And that when AJ finds the people I would say the difference that's the way it is. And people would say, no, AJ brings so much more in the table. And what I said, no, Tyson now is the USA and fight that's a much bigger market. And when they do fight, Tyson will have a big difference that will be doing AJ a favour. Yeah. I mean in fact Warren last weekend, this weekend probably on the, yeah, I think on the, on the Stello and Bunce podcast on Sunday, I heard him saying it's a 50-50 split first big fight, and in actual fact it's just 70-30, but we're doing AJ a fight, so we'll go 50-50 and we want that fight. And I mean, you want more than they do? I mean, they are doing what they can do. Yeah. They're doing what they can do. Yeah. Who's saying they're going to do it? 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 Who's well, he just said 70 30, hasn't he, yesterday? Okay, well, I haven't heard that. I heard him saying 50 50. No, well, he, I don't even want to talk about splits, right? Either, I don't think the fight's going to happen yet. I think they're going to want to build it up. But I think Eddie Hearn's vulnerable now because, like I said, every single fight that Joshua's had for a world title since he won it, he's had a safety net of a rematch clause. He's not got one with pool left, and that leaves him vulnerable. That leaves them out of the mix if Pulev wins the belts because he'll tie up a trilogy with Fury or something. They'll just keep Joshua out. The main thing is it's the chess moves behind the scenes. They're going to try and keep people out. Now, you're going to see Eddie Hearn on his hands and knees begging for this fight now. They don't want to go near Pulev, mate. They don't want to do that. If they fight Wilder again, he's got to fight Pulev. And like I said... They've got no safety net, mate. They'll try and renegotiate with Pool F if there is a Pool F win. That's just business, but don't want to see Joshua Fury? Of course I do, man. It's the biggest fight in yeah. world boxing since Ali Fraser, the uh, first one. But, uh, do, you think, do you think, as, as a boxing, as a pure boxing spectacle, as, 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 as a fight, uh, five. Do you think it's as big? Forget the money. Do you think it's as big as last Saturday night? Do I think it's what? Do you think it's as big as last Saturday night? Do you think it's as big as last Saturday night? Do you think it's as big as last Saturday night? Do you think it's as big
do you think it's as dangerous or as big or as relevant to boxing as a sport? Forget the money as the fight that happened last Saturday night. Yeah, of course it's relevant. We want one, one. We want one champion. We don't want any of this. Oh, it's Joshua at best. He's got four belts. Or Fury at best. He's got two belts, but he's won every belt. Look, everybody's saying Tyson Fury is now the number one in the boxing community. But yeah. do you do you think do you think AJ got any chance of beating Tyson? No, I don't think he's got a cat in hell's chance. He's gun shy. He'll come out swingers in, mate. He won't be able to stay with Tyson for 12 rounds. Anthony so. Joshua has no stamina, mate, if he's throwing punches. He can't last 12 rounds against Tyson. Tyson will just wear him down and beat him up. Yeah. Or, or just box him. There's no way ever he could have beaten Tyson. And, but that's definitely the case now. We can all see that. He's definitely going to be lose those belts to Tyson if they fight. 100%. Yeah, yeah, you would say that, wouldn't you? I, I'd have thought so. I've always said that, Russ. <laughs> yeah, well, you've got something right in your life, Stig, didn't you? But he's not I beat Joshua yet, has he? But let's hope he does. I think he does. Yeah, yeah uh, I think he does. I don't, I've got no doubt about it. Unless Tyson gets in there and his Achilles goes. Who's to say he don't fight Wilder? Who's to say he don't fight Wilder in a third fight and Wilder gets a lucky punch and what happens then? It's possible, well, he, isn't it? He could, it is possible, but he, he landed two big arches. He, 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 Wilder landed two big rights on Tyson on Saturday night and Tyson just carried on, didn't he? That's yeah. where, where he's at right now. He was twice in the first fight and went down but he's got up again so well, I'm not worried about anything no I'm, I'm really not not at 19 and a half stone sorry not at 19 and a half stone against a 16 stone man he shouldn't be uh, well, he shouldn't you, be you said, you, I mean you commented on a picture that I used to post quite a lot of times and when he was looking more Adonis than he now does and you did say to me that he, when he was in that shape Tyson did say to people his punch resistance he felt wasn't so good you mean the picture in you mean do you mean that photograph that's in peter fury's gym of him on the wall in the old gym on alleywell road bolton there is one there where he's got a little bit of a six pack and he and tyson always yeah. says that's best he looked yeah i have yeah. i spoke to tyson about that and, he, and i says you look better on that picture there and he said I couldn't take punches. I think I told you that a couple of years ago, didn't I, on the channel? <laughs> yeah, he said he, did, he didn't feel that that... I think it was 17 and a half, was he then? He didn't feel that that was his best weight, although he looked good aesthetically. Now, 19 and a half, obviously, he's got more power. He can take punches, can't he? Yeah, it's just impossible to beat. Hmm. And it's not, it's not just that he, he can take a punch and he can hit harder. Yeah. Possibly, but... but he, he, even at that way, look at the way the bloke moves. I mean, it's mm. phenomenal. It's yeah. just that the bloke's a freak. The bloke yeah. is a positive spot. Stig, Stig, listen to me. Stig, crawl out of his ass, mate, for a moment, mate. Listen, no, mate. Because no, no, no. Asgi, no, no. Asgi's up there. <laughs> I, 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 mate, I'm, I'm just... I'm not actually... You know, I'm not doing anything like that. I'm just saying the way it is. All right, mate. Well, listen, you've you've had your moment, Stig, and uh, I'm going to go have a game of snooker with my mate here now. So, but listen, nice to speak to you. Thanks, mate. And uh, are you cabbing in today in your cab? No, I'm I'm sitting at home. I'm doing. Uh, I'm just about to hang the washing up. <laughs> <laughs> and you got yourself a I'm bitch yet, Stig? Sorry. And you got yourself a girlfriend yet? No. All right, then. well, listen, all the best. Have a good day, Stig. And uh, have you got anything to say? Don't you need to say them two words? What, Stig, Stig Power? No, the, <laughs> other, the other one. <laughs> Fury Power. <laughs> Go on, do it. Fury Power. <laughs> <laughs> See you, Stig. God bless you. Cheers, Take mate. care, mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, bye. Right. We had to let Stig have his uh, have his moment. Uh, there's obviously is uh, basking in the Tyson Fury win, and so he should. It were a great win, wasn't it? And Tyson Fury has to be given credit uh, as a bot as what he did in the rings. Fantastic! So well done. So 
So I think that's about it really. I'm gonna go and uh, have a game of snooker now. So peace out. <laughs> you liked that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. Porkycorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking. <laughs>